Hey YouTube, we're here to talk about the Spectrum AR9020 DSMX dual satellite receiver um, product here. Okay, now go ahead and pan back. We're gonna, we're gonna show you how I've got this set up here. Um, real quick, I'll just power it down. I've got a just a whatever, a three cell pack. It's not actually what I fly this F14 with. I fly it with four cell pack, but I'm just gonna show you real quick. Um, I had two of these things mounted. These are the satellite receivers and get a shot of the Lemon RX down there. You can see I've got that set up. That's a DSM-2 receiver, but it's 10 channel. So it's, it's you know, like, hey, I've got one little antenna and I'm hoping to use it on my new glider. So I wanted to ensure better range. So I said, well, I better use one of those satellite receivers from on this F-14, since I was like, I don't need five antennas. I don't need a diversity antenna and a, another diversity antenna. I mean, this thing isn't gonna go that far away. It goes very fast and it gets away from you quick, I realize, but um, it's kind of obnoxious having all that extra crap attached too. So I said, I am determined to make this work without having two satellites. So, so basically, I figured out a way to trick the system because I'm gonna show you what happens. Um, basically, you bind them the same way, you plug in your satellite, and you bind it just like you would any other time, and the bind process works fine. I've got a DX18. Okay. So basically, when they're bound, plane starts up, and you're gonna notice what happens. It says F14, you hear the ESCs attempting to engage. There's clearly no connection, okay? Well, what's happening is it's looking for the second satellite. So what I originally started doing is I just moved the satellite port to a different port and watch what happens. Nothing. There it goes. Now it's working. So basically, now it works. Get a shot of all the control surfaces there. So as I move, it responds. It's clearly bound. It's gonna work fine, okay? The idea is if you had a failure in a satellite receiver, it's gonna to continue to function. And you only have the one antenna, but for God's sakes, for years we ran on one antenna. I know there's a lot of data transfer here and stuff, so you wanna have as best crack at success. So anyway, the other thing too is real quick, just so you can see it, see the lights on? Mm -hmm. And everything's working still. So when I unplug this, the light goes out, clearly it's not gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it back in, now, this thing is gonna start acting as another receiver. They're basically two receivers, so it's redundant. The way you can get around this, okay, so now I'm gonna turn off my, my transmitter, okay? Now I'm gonna unplug my battery. I'm gonna go to a virgin restart here. Plug it in. Normally you wouldn't do that, but I just wanna show you there's no impact from having this receiver turned on. It doesn't bind because it's it's a defective receiver as far as it can tell, or it's, it's um, it's degraded, the performance is degraded because you don't have both satellites attached. Now, two ways to fix it. One, hook up another satellite, or two, Hobby King has this part number, mini JST connector, and it's got to do with the spacing on the pins. And you can stick this in, it's the same type of plug that you're gonna have on your um, receiver. Now, what I plan to do is I plan to take off the unnecessary plugs. But what I found is that if you plug in the orange wire, which is the the pin to the left in this case, and you just short it to the other one, then it tricks the, and just listen for the beeping, it'll stop. It tricks the receiver into thinking that there's another satellite attack, and yet it works perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna show you a virgin reset. Power off, power down, power on like you'd normally do so you have full control and then go ahead and power this thing on turns on and then instead of like what happened this time it immediately goes to working and so everything works which is really cool because like for two cents now i've got another 12 or 15 dollar part here which you know not a big deal but still now i've got what i need now and i can show you this working but just take my word for it i bound them they work fine this is DSMX and this is DSM2. So I believe what happens is that this thing downgrades itself to operate within the DSM2 platform um, or DSM2 protocol. I'm not sure exactly what they would call that. 
so works great now all I got to do is just clean up my wiring a little bit and uh, but I just figured I would go ahead and show you that so like I said you, you don't have to you don't even have to have the satellites in, installed to, to bind it properly it'll bind without them it'll bind with one whatever just bind with what you have when you're done get your little connector now you could go in there and just solder a wire onto the connector or go inside on the board disassemble this box and solder onto the terminal but that's a pain in the butt I'm just gonna do this so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe